What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to some more Boom Beach Weird episode number 13. Unlucky for some and I made some changes guys as you can see I've got stone up in the top right hand corner now and uh, 357 diamonds. Because uh, what I did is I've, I've done basically a load of upgrades so as per usual I'm going to take you through the upgrades I've done. Um, I'm going to show you what we're going for next and then we're going to go ahead and uh, take some bitches down. Um, so we have got ourselves an idol which gives 10% wood production, um, increases wood production from home base sawmill and wood resources base very nice indeed um, we've got ourselves eight uh, eight troops each on the landing craft and two heavies on that landing craft and one heavy on that landing craft um, we've got the sculptor uh, the sculptor gives the the idols which give you bonuses and uh, if you, you could take a look here um, they give you all, all different things basically and as you can see in the bottom left hand corner I've got uh, three shards one green crystal one uh, magma one magma crystal as well and uh, you can get different Different things give you different bonuses, so um, looking forward to getting that. You can only have a maximum of three statues placed, though. Um, I have got a few extra items on the on the beach. We've got the cannon level one and a machine gun level two being upgraded here. A uh, couple of three sniper towers there. I think they're all level six. Sniper tower level six. Sniper tower level five. Sniper tower level five. Uh, we have got the stone storage and uh, the mortar level three and the machine gun level uh, four there. And um, it, the base the base needs rearranging, so I'll rearrange it for you guys probably for the next episode. Um, I need to get enough uh, stone to upgrade the armory because I can't upgrade any troops right now. I need three and a half thousand stone. Um, as I can't upgrade any any more troops just yet, so uh, we got a lot to get on with. Um, as you can see, let me see if there's any uh, bonus chests around. There's one. Boom! Let's give us another three diamonds. These appear. The bonus chests appear every like two to three hours. So if you're actually playing Boom Beach, just log on every couple of hours and uh, get a couple of extra diamonds. And as you can see, I've I've moved up to 360 now. So once I do start getting those really long um, upgrade times, I can start using those for it. So, um, there's a lot of uh, single player bases, and I've been using the single player bases like if I need a bit of wood or a bit of uh, gold or jet stones or whatever to upgrade, I'll come and play the single player bases. And as you can see um, here, I've lost so many of them. Um, so, pretty much every time I take one, I end up losing it as well. I also got uh, proper attacked as well. So, as you can see on the screen, they took 17,000 wood and 9,000 gold. Uh, they deployed two heavies and 15 riflemen and lost one heavy and 10 riflemen. And as we, I'm going to show you the battle on four, four speed, they literally, or he, she, literally got the base within a second of the timer running out. Like, it was ridiculous. They, they attacked the actual base itself. I don't know why. Um, didn't really do a good job of getting rid of uh, my offensive units. But as you can see here, my uh, my mortar is doing pretty good work. There they are. They're sitting on the base. There's one minute, ten seconds left. One minute left, and uh, there's just not much left here. And I don't know why they threw that shell in onto the tower there. They would have been better served putting it on um, the actual base that they're trying to get. So let's go back to four star there, and uh, we'll just have a look here and look at this. It's just. It, it may, maybe it was two or three seconds, but look at this, five seconds to go, four seconds to go, three seconds to go, and there we go, they blow it up. And on the counter, there was one second left when the map finished. So, um, really, really frustrating. Like, if I if I was a little bit better positioned, um, perhaps I could have stopped them from taking the base, it would have been nice. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take some bases of our own now. We've got a lot of uh, multiplayer dudes on here. There's a lot of resource bases. We've got the Hammerman's HQ there as well. So we're going to start taking a look at these. We've got um, Andy here. Let's scout him. He's got uh, 1,500 stone, which is pretty much what I'm looking for right now. Another one of those bases, guys, where it's like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Like, you've got all of your attacking options right at the front. Um, I mean, this machine gun barely touches this sniper tower so all I have to do is take out the f these two here and uh, I'll be well on my way. I could even just flare in um, at the back where the armory is and attack it un unattacked really um, but we're going to attack this guy I've got more than enough troops here um, to take him out we're going to go like um, let me take out the sniper tower actually uh, one there hopefully uh, I'm going to destroy that sniper tower one two three Good job that's gone. And um, then we're literally just going to deploy here and uh, send these guys right down the back. And, and literally, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of shots, but I don't particularly mind simply because I don't think I'm going to lose a single man. And there you go. Look at that for a, a terrible, terrible base design. And now he can't reach anything. I'm in the back of his base. I'm going to steal everything he's got. And there's not a thing he could do about it. And all I had to do was destroy one of his defensive buildings. How crazy is that? Oh, his mortar is getting me there. Um, 
I don't think it's really going to do too much damage. What we're going to do is we're going to fling that onto there. So we can heal these dudes up for a few seconds. And uh, hopefully the, they'll get full health before the Mortar hits again. So the Mortar's not even going to take anyone out either. It's going to require another two shots, which it won't get off before I take this building down. There's one of them. Look at that. They've got almost no life left. And boom, that's it. Game over. So we take his base with absolutely no problems. A terrible, terrible base. Terrible base. Um, and we get some, uh, some good... Um, it's a couple of medals, stone. Look at that. A shard and a uh, crystal as well, which is pretty damn sweet and no casualties so we picked up a, a little bit of everything and because we've got so much gold we're going to go ahead and explore this area here we get another chest there as well which is nice four diamonds in that chest and um, I've opened up some of the areas just for uh, I wanted to spend gold what you know there, there's no point having the gold sitting there so we're going to go ahead and look at the next base that we can take um, I want to take Hammerman's HQ um, I actually I, I wanted to see how to defeat this base I've watched a few YouTube series and I saw one guy try this base a good 20 to 30 times and he kept doing exactly the same thing and expecting a different outcome every single time and uh, I tried it and basically what I did is I destroyed the mortar as quickly as possible and then I just ran to the back of the base here and um, they where those trees are right at the back I, I kind of put my men in there they were attacking the headquarters uh, they got away with it I managed to destroy it although like I retreated just before I destroyed it so that you guys can actually see me do it but I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to take on some of these multiplayer bases. So this guy is a level 12, so I'm two levels above him. And um, he's got, I mean, the, like the problem here again is he's got his attacking, like his defensive uh, buildings so spread out here. And is there's nothing apart from this uh, boom cannon here, or the cannon, level 1 cannon defending him in the base. Like, I, I don't know, like these, these machine guns, that sniper tower, I could take out the two sniper towers here and the mortar and then kind of trawl through his buildings and, and not really have a problem. What has he got? 1800 uh, stone. Let me go and have a look at some of the other guys because I will lose some troops taking that base down but you know I want to try and destroy a base where I don't lose any troops. So this guy again, he's got no protection um, in the back there. He's got his machine gun down the left. The mortar could, do, could be a bit dangerous and the cannon level one. Um, he doesn't really have much stone or, or as much wood as I'd like either, so I'm not really interested in trying to take him down. So let's look at this guy. He's a level 15, so he's actually a level above me. Um, so now this is what I would regard as a really, really well thought out base. So he's got his defensive units surrounding his headquarters. Almost nothing is touching. He's got the machine gun with the radar and the sniper tower with the armory. Uh, the cannon level 2 there with the sawmill. But in general, he's got a really, really good defensive unit around his um, his headquarters, and for that reason, I'm simply not going to attack him. He, I'm tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal his base design and uh, take a photo of that, and and literally just rip his base design off. I'm going to steal what he's got, and um, times will be good. So uh, he's he's not of interest to me. Uh, let's have a look at this guy, a level 12 here. Did I already look at this guy? Um, yeah, I did look at this guy, didn't I? So let's go on to the next one. We've got Captain here. Uh, let's scout him. He's got a pretty well spread out base. Uh, sniper tower, machine gun, machine gun, mortar and cannon. Two more sniper towers. Everything defending that base down the back. There's no point in me trying to attack that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He didn't really have that many resources either. I'm going to find a new opponent here. And who does it give me? It gives me another 14 rated person called Cut It Up. So let's have a look at his base. So this is a terrible base. Um, he's got his sniper towers at the back. I mean, he, he hasn't got any stone either, so I don't really want to take him down. But it, it's so easy to get in there. Like, I suppose his snipers have got quite good range. It would be difficult to to hit those. I'd need to stand about where the sculptor is, and I don't know if they'd stand out far, out that far. Um, let's go and have a look at uh, White here. Um, see, everyone, everyone's got like so many defensive units except this guy he's got five but three of them are touching so I mean how much he's got no stone at all absolutely not interested in that crap um, so we look to him we look to him we look to him uh, let's have a look at this guy here because we can get a new opponent here if I don't like the look of his base so he's got 3200 stone now that's something worth stealing he's got a lot of his uh, units at the front as well um, we're going to attack this guy I haven't really thought out a strategy so we'll figure it out as we go along um, what I first want to do is uh, plant a bomb right there. Hopefully this will take two things out at once. Three things out at once, even. Put another one there. Boom. That's great. And another one in there. 
take out two more towers. So we're going to have uh, a good go here. We're going to all I need to take out is the. Mm, I guess I kind of need to take out both those sniper towers, don't I? Because that other sniper tower will get me. What I'll do is I'll take out these units here. Let's get the heavies in, and then let's get the units in behind them. And I want to send them down here first, and then into here. And I just want to throw one of these on so that they can get healed up. Oh, don't stand on those grenades, guys. Come on now. So move on to the next. And we're going to lose some men here, but that was to be expected. So move on to the next. We're taking uh, we're taking towers. That's cool. And then uh, once this one's out of the way, I think we're going to have to move them back here. Let's move them on to the sculptor building. I want to get them out of range of the snipers and the mortar, basically. If that sniper's still hitting them, I could be in a bit of trouble. He is. He's still going for that heavy. So let's uh, let's throw a medikit on that heavy just so we can not lose him. That is absolutely perfect. Hopefully it brings him a lot of health back as well. I should really go for the buildings now. Um, sorry, the uh, the sniper there rather than the buildings. but Because um, otherwise he's just going to end up taking all of these guys out. Let's fire a shot on him. And let these guys carry on going through. Because if I can get 11 more bits before he kills one of those heavies. I've still got 2 minutes 30 as well. We should be in good shape. We should be okay here. The, I mean, the sniper is going to take out that heavy. I just got to hope that we can get through these buildings before. I, I should just go and take that sniper tower down, really, shouldn't I? As soon as we take this building down, I'll go and take that sniper because I've only got six riflemen and two heavies left, um, and they're all kind of doing a mix of stuff here as well, which is quite annoying. Um, so as soon as that building goes down, we're going to throw that on there, get these guys to take this out. We might take some shots from the uh, from the cannon, which is exactly what we are doing. And uh, we might actually lose this base. We might we might not win here because uh, I've got I can't decide what they shoot at now. So if this mortar manages to take all of these dudes out, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. I've got uh, a fair bit of life left. Th that mortar is hitting that heavy rather than a rifleman. Um, I don't know if they're taking out. Look, they're taking out like two different things at once as well. But that um, that base is nearly done. As soon as that heavy goes, though, we are screwed. So hopefully they can take it down before he goes. There's him gone. Um, maybe they're out of range. Are they out of range? Nope. There we, but it doesn't matter. We managed to get that. And uh, that was uh, not as good as I thought. I thought we might get a, a, f a bit quicker. And I thought we might get a few less casualties. Ten riflemen there. And um, three heavies. But we picked up two more medals. And more importantly, 3,200 stone. Which is uh, very, very important to me right now. Because the next upgrade, as I said, that I want... Um, I've got max wood as well, which is pretty decent. The next upgrade that I want is this, and it costs 3,500 stone, which I now have enough to do. So in one hour and eight minute time, I will upgrade the armory, and uh, things will be great. So uh, this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Peace.